Cerro de Cristo Rey is locally known for the giant statue at the top of the hill. Cerro de Cristo Rey can be translated to Mount Cristo Rey in English. Mount Cristo Rey plays a small role in the geology of the El Paso region. Mount Cristo Rey is unique to El Paso because of the dinosaur tracks found in the rocks. The tracks were only discovered by accident by Eric Kappas during a field trip geology class in 2002. This is an aerial view of Mount Crystal Ray and how we can talk about the sediments at Mount Crystal Ray. This is an outline of the sediments overlaying an aerial image of Crystal Ray. We can start with the oldest formation, which is the Finlay Formation. It is early Cretaceous in age and is mostly limestone. The Del Norte Formation is still early Cretaceous and is mostly shale. Next we have the Smelter Town Formation, which is late early Cretaceous in age and is a gray shale. After Smelter Town we have the Moleros Formation, which is late early Cretaceous in age and is mostly limestone. As we keep moving through the layers we have the Mesilla Valley Formation which is late early Cretaceous in age and is a shale dominated layer. The Anapna sandstone formation is early Cretaceous in age and is sandstone. This is where most of the dinosaur tracks are found. The Del Rio formation is early late Cretaceous in age and is mostly limestone. The Buddha is early late Cretaceous in age and is white limestone. On top of the Buddha Formation is the Bokias Formation, which is mostly shale and Lake Cretaceous in the age. Between these two formations you find an unconformity, which means missing time between them. In the Cretaceous age about 94 million years ago, the continents were almost looking how they look now, but there were oceans in between continents. This created an ocean between the United States. This prevented dinosaurs from crossing from one side of the continent to the other. This also meant dinosaurs from one side of the continent looked different from the other side. El Paso at this time was underwater due to, due to the ocean. Dinosaurs in the El Paso region were using Mount Crystal Ray to find a way to cross the ocean. There were four types of dinosaurs discovered at Mount Crystal Ray. Ankylosaur, Theropod, Archimancanthiodorus, Iguanodon, Hydrosaur. Mount Crystal is a hypovisal andesitic pluton, which means andesitic magma came up from the mantle but didn't break the crust. This pluton or bubble moved the layers of the earth, tilting them at an angle. Natural weathering and erosion did take some effect on the rocks, but the dinosaur tracks were discovered thanks to human activity in mining. There are two locations at Crystal Ray at which you can find dinosaur tracks. At location 1 you find tracks in sandstone. These dinosaurs were probably chest deep going in and out of the water trying to find a way out. These are probably the largest sets of tracks at Mount Crystal Ray. The tracks at location 2 are really unique. These are called bird's eye, worm's eye tracks. Bird's eye is from when you can see it from a bird's point of view. It gives you the top of the tracks where the dinosaur tried to scratch its way out of the water. This is called a worm's eye view dinosaur track. You can see the bottom or the inside of the dinosaur foot which got stuck in the mud.